Okay, here we are back in Felseal Arbiter's Mark. So, I went ahead and recruited Bizarro in this incredibly stupid map, and now we're going to go to the Gorge and hopefully not run into these horribly overpowered classes, but we'll see. So we have a new enemy type there that I haven't seen before. And... how do we even get over here? Um... You might need a teleport or something, I'm not sure. So that allows you to climb up there. If we see a chest back there that I might be able to hop over to get to. So this is some sort of bat monster looking at its face, but it doesn't really fly. And then we have the beetles. Okay, so this one can jump really high. I don't know what else it really has going for it, though. Anyway, we will go here. I changed Reiner over to an assassin. Changed her to Druid. For our Reaver, I want that one in combat. Fellblade over here. And we'll bring along Anadine still. I don't know if I have to use... Actually, yeah, I do have to use Bizarro, don't I? So we'll put him in place of Anadine. He can be the team healer, worst come to worst. Okay, so this is the beginning of a side quest, and unfortunately I can't do it right now. You need the ranger job, I believe. How odd, that cadaver is clutching an old letter in its fists. So we'll go up here. So even though I'm not using a gun, I can still do stuff to these guys. So it turns out the assassin stuff does cost MP to use, it's just so little it may as well be free. And yeah, we'll go with Cripple here. I don't know if he can hit him or not, we'll see. Nope. Nope. He doesn't have anything going for him there. So I'll just put him alongside Reiner. So I'm going to put the barrier on these three. And I think there is a job that will let you take a map action, like climbing up here without consuming your actual action. It's just, I don't know which job that is, that is. Hmm. So I think we can hop down here and then you can work your way over to the chest, it's just I genuinely don't care. Do you even see that one up there? And overall, this is not a good group for shutting them down either. I'd have to bring one of either Kyrie or her back. So there's basically no way for him to win that exchange. And now when I'm crippled, I don't think I can hit anyone, but when they are, they can. I think I'm better off just going up behind him and hitting him. Wow. Don't know what Thrash does. Hmm. 
so I can't blind him. Anyway, you don't have to do this side quest here and now, you can come back later. Not really a big deal. Sadly, you cannot heal about yourself, so we'll do it this way. That may actually be a good thing for me. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get extra materials to unlock jobs for Bizarro or not. Yeah, I can just keep taunting these guys to keep them locked up. items though. So we'll berserk him anyway. that one skill that increases the chance of applying the status effect. Actually, no, I gotta cancel that. I need to go over here.
That move is starting to annoy me. Not sure how I'm going to reach that one yet. Okay, we finally got one. He's immune. <laughs> Keep that one locked up. Damn it, he's peeling back. So you know what? Let's go here. Look wounds. so tempting. It's physical damage, unfortunately, but we got bleed going. I don't know what's going on with that one. And sadly, Bizarro does not have any, like, uh, Evade move, so he has to just face tank. Well, 
here comes the counter. Okay, it's finally coming down. So... Yep, we gotta do this the old-fashioned way. Throw stone. Sad part is I can't actually hit it there. We need to get it to move out some. Anyway, put him out of his misery. Focus Rage can crit or not. So I'm just going to keep taunting him. It's going to be up to the uh, Fellblade there to get the kill. Maybe with a little help from the others. Best thing is this, just so I can keep moving. Move 
to six, seven from there. Okay. If you need the dragon blood sap, there you go. So I'm literally better off doing anything else other than killing it here. Lunar Crest for that. And then you can see the Pectite has been unlocked due to the Essence Gathering. One was the MVP. So we got four of the larger things. One for the Cadaver. She can go Reaver now. To be honest, I'm not sure which job I should actually go for with her. I'm kind of leaning towards this one, but I have to go Peddler. We'll check it out later. But for now, learn ability. Templar. I can get that one. I kind of want to use this one just so I can get rid of barrier from a distance, among other things. That one's still there. That one's still there. So now we can get Panacea 1. This isn't like a full cleanse, but it gets rid of a bunch of things. And then we can either go for water or fire. A little partial of this one. Spread pain. That unlock gambler. So I'm going to try to max Fellblade. So Pectite's here, four abilities. This is your generic elements. Adaptive Affinity, which is what they do, and then you can split and get elements, coalesce.
that's not really that great. Amorphous is the same thing as that no flank thing on the knight. Elemental Mastery. So if they don't null it, you hit them like they don't have any at all. Hmm. Not so sure about this one. Otherwise, for Thurva, we can get Absorb Mana. We will go ahead and set that. And he's a little less pitiful now. Anyway, a new glove was found in that fight. Battle Claw. It does give crit, which is what's kind of tempting. So, give that to him. And we will go into the spires now. I'm assuming this is a fight just because of where it is, but I'm not 100% certain. I also did not look to see if there was anything I could craft. Why is it so quiet? I don't know, but I don't like it. Stay alert. Something is definitely off. Told you we'd be meeting again, didn't I? Tucker's a girl out, you know, being right all the time. I like this meeting better already. You don't have a hostage to hide behind. Funny girl, I knew there was just something I liked about you. What does Sigil want with us this time? You figured it out, eh? Yeah, I'm with Sigil. My task is to keep any mark from completing the pilgrimage. That's why I'm here, to see that you drop out of the quest. I saw you helping out folks at Old Bazaar and Thesperos. I can tell you're a good sort, woman of principles and all that. Here's my deal. Swear to me you'll abandon the pilgrimage and that'll be that. Easy peasy, wasn't that breezy. Interesting proposal. Here's my counteroffer. For the crimes of kidnapping, and ransoming, and attempted murder, the laws allow you're captured, dead or alive. You surrender peacefully and we'll make that alive. Perhaps you got a titch too many principles at that. Suppose we do it the hard way, then. Don't think it'll be surprising me with your weirdly demon powers this time, little miss. I knew it was too quiet. They were in position before we even got here, and now we're surrounded. Do you have a plan? She's obviously a leader. Take her down quickly, and I bet the rest will scatter fast enough. Righty-ho. This is no bunch of lightweights. No quarter, no how. So this is Bizarro's race, where they can have multiple jobs, so to speak. And this one gets a turn if it goes into critical status, so we prefer that not to happen unless we have it taunted, so we can't really abuse that. So one assassin, an assassin gunner at that, a reaver assassin, an assassin plague doctor, a bounty hunter assassin, I'm surprised this isn't a mercenary assassin, and then another bug. So that's not going to be too bad if I can get them to hit one another and take that away. should point out she has 34% crit. It's two turns back to back, because why not? AoE sleep, because why not? Luckily this time it only affected one person. I think I might be better off trying to cripple.
Okay, so the status effect doesn't go through either. See a one. I am going to use that here. Wake her up. I'm really looking to pick this one off as fast as possible. up the heal bot on Anodine. Believe it or not, that does not surprise me. That's what I mean by how they can get to... well, this time it was only almost full instead of full out full. automatically fall through, which is my one concern. Hopefully they'll keep them occupied for a bit. And there goes the cripple. Thank you. 
So here comes the counterattack. Genuinely not surprised. I can try and get more status effects out. Ah, uh, right, I don't have it. I'll deal with his spells for a while. Let's get rid of that. I was afraid of that. So I do need to move here just to get the, um... Heal. Jeez, I've almost killed her. already have it or something, I don't know. Oh uh, yeah, she has one more turn of it. Oh well, didn't hurt to try. So the sappers, I don't really want this to end yet.
kinda wonder what happens if you kill one of these. Guess we'll have to wait till another time to find out. You're a little tougher than you look. I'll be seeing you. She does a nice job of getting away. We'll be ready for her tricks next time. So, yeah, there's no penalty to leaving them all up like that. Once again, my apologies. Unnecessary. Arbiters are meant to protect citizens, not the other way around. I did notice some locals taking part of that ambush. Yes, if they had assistance from Brazils, it would explain how a band of outsiders could set up an ambush without anyone noticing. After all, most of us live in caves under the city. But why would Brazils help Sigil with their dirty work? Members of Sigil have been very active in Sikander Spires for some years now. Discontent with the rule of immortals has been growing, especially among our younger generations. But what specifically is their complaint? Many things, but the biggest issue is the prohibition on arming our own guards, forcing us to rely on arbiters for our own safety. I understand your concerns, Elder. I promise you if I can at all influence council policies, I will make it a priority to improve relations with your people. Which brings me to the reason for our visit. We require access to the Sealed Temple. The Sealed Temple? Yes, of course. I'm afraid this is going to be difficult. What's difficult about it? When news reached us of the marked coming here for the pilgrimage, a few sigil sympathizers flooded the Sealed Temple. Flooded it? How is that even possible? Living underground, we Bazils are quite knowledgeable about tunnel networks and reservoirs and such things. We believe Sigil members diverted the flow of an underground river, raising the water level until the entire temple is submerged. The whole thing underwater. That's unfortunate. Agreed. And there's worse news. The water level is so high, it's putting our entire harvest at risk. How irresponsible. Quite. We have, however, come up with a solution which would restore the water to its previous level, save our harvest, and grant you access to the Sealed Temple. I get the feeling the solution requires us to do the heavy lifting. Quite. An explosive device must be placed under the lake, by the blockage created by the members of Sigil. The resulting breach will release the floodwaters, and water levels should quickly return to normal. But... But... The tunnels are infested with monsters, and as you well know, my people are not warriors. We understand the situation, Elder. As Arbiters, it is our duty to assist, even if we didn't need access to the Sealed Temple. Would that all... Would that all Arbiters were as dutiful as you, young one? There was another group of Arbiters out here recently. Their leader, Captain Dolman, advised us to petition the Council for assistance. I do believe we'd lose our harvest before receiving a response. How lazy! That particular group of Arbiters has already been... reprimanded. That is good to hear. Perhaps I've grown too cynical in my elderhood. Do be careful in the tunnels. I've heard tell that some of the beasts down there may be larger than normal. Thank you for the warning, Elder. Alright, let's get this done. Hit up the shop, see if there's anything good. Human customers. Wow. Eh. Eh. So, what does this even give? 111? I don't want to give her this for the speed. This I kind of do need. Okay. 
Okay, she already has that. Okay. If I wanted that one, we'll go ahead and do that. That's a step down from her current armor. So I give up evasion for more attack by lose health. I'm... Hmm. Like, the nice thing about this would just be the speed. Wizard cone. I'd say this is worth it. Silk robe and go into flowing robe. Not really an improvement, sadly. See, so yeah, I'll give her the judo key. I'm probably going to be using this hat still. I'm not sure where I got the sage hat, but definitely an improvement over what's currently being offered. Can he even equip armor? No, literally just accessories. That complicates things a little bit. of the jammy fruit to upgrade my rock to full. I really wish I could get more heavy potions. Gear-wise, we can get the mangosh. Not really impressed, sadly. Elemental shields. I think the black robe just became obsolete. Then we're back to the boots. So I can make the demoralizer. That probably has to have a massive cost too, because that's too powerful otherwise. And then badges. I have one of each, or two of each, I mean. And yeah, we'll call it quits here. When we pick up next time, we'll go into the Uckle Cavern and try to make our way to the temple. But otherwise, that's it for now, folks. Oh, wait. I forgot. I didn't do the job stuff, did I? So, Righteous Blade. Nothing there. Templar-wise, he can get this. Whether he'll actually use that is a completely different story. Now we have Sleep Powder. Still waiting on that one. Of here, even though this is still pretty decent. Being able to hit them for that much damage from that far away. Nothing there. And then we'll get the other one last. Fell blade. We can go ahead and get black blade here.
So the cost is what's so prohibitive there, because that's still pretty good. But yeah, that's the specking I did, and like I said, we'll pick up here next time. I'm the Hero of Light, thanks for watching, and goodbye.